ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಪಿಯರ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಇಂಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಂಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಯಿಂಗ್ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಇಂಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಯಿಂಗ್ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟರ್ ನೌ ದರ್ ಈಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟರ್ ನೌ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಐ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟರ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ರೈಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಲೈ ಇನ್ ಎ ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಪರ್ಪೆಂಡಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಟು ದ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟರ್ around the conductor the magnetic lines of forces are concentric circles at which then at which the current carrying conductor is located at the center of the concentric circles now let us consider now let us consider right this is a plane this is a plane this is a plane right that is this is the plane now the current is passing the current is passing right in the upward direction through the plane now the current is passing now this is intersecting point of the plane how the current is how the current is like this this is what is the current here i now this is the i now whenever the current is passing in the upward direction magnetic field lie in a plane perpendicular to the conductor magnetic field is there magnetic lines of forces are there magnetic lines of forces what is the what are the shape of the magnetic lines of forces here in this case magnetic lines of forces are concentric circles concentric circles at which the current carrying conductor is located at the center of the concentric circles now how the magnetic lines of force is now this is the magnetic lines of force now this is the magnetic lines of force now these are the magnetic lines of forces right now here in this case what is the direction of the magnetic field what is the direction of the magnetic field means this is a current carrying conductor right the direction of the current is like this now the thumb is placed in the direction of current carrying conductor then fold the four fingers the curl of fingers now what is the direction of the magnetic field here is the direction of the magnetic field now let us consider this is one magnetic lines of force at this point the magnetic lines of force at this point the magnetic field induction is like this at this point the magnetic field induction is like this right the, at this point the magnetic field induction at this point the magnetic field induction right let us consider this is the current carrying conductor around the conductor the magnetic field is there the magnetic field lie in a plane perpendicular to the conductor now let us concentrate only one magnetic lines of force at a perpendicular distance at a perpendicular distance are at a perpendicular distance are right what is the magnetic field induction this is the magnetic field induction now at this point what is the magnetic field induction this is the magnetic field induction at this point the magnetic field induction is like this at this point the magnetic field induction is like this at this point the magnetic field induction is like this now right 
on a magnetic lines of force at a particular point the magnetic field induction is along the tangent at that particular point suppose here is also magnetic field induction the magnetic field direction is like this is like this along the tangent now here in this case magnetic field induction due to a straight current carrying conductor what is a straight current carrying conductor this is the straight current carrying conductor right by choosing this conductor as a center right imagine a closed path imagine a closed path this is a closed path now imagine a closed path this is the closed path right this is the closed path right this is the closed path through the closed path the current carrying conductor is like this right now here from the center to the closed path it is at a perpendicular distance r right what is the current passing through this one i now let us consider right this is a closed path right now there is a length element dl there is a length element dl right this is the closed path there is a length element dl r the length element dl is like this right whenever you consider the length element dl the magnetic field induction is also like this whenever you consider the dl length the magnetic field induction is also like this therefore now along the length element along the length element the magnetic field induction is like this therefore here what is our mathematical statement the closed integral of closed line integral b bar dot dl bar is equal to what to say right mu not i now therefore closed integral of b dl that is cos theta is equal to mu not i right now b is at a perpendicular distance at a perpendicular distance r at every point the magnetic field induction is same therefore it is constant or otherwise closed integral b dl and what is the theta theta is angle between b bar and dl bar right what is the dl bar that is this is the dl bar what is the magnetic field induction this is the dl both are in the same direction theta is equals to 0 therefore cos 0 is equals to mu not i therefore now b dl cos 0 is equals to 1 what do you say mu not i therefore b keep it out closed integral of right dl dl is equals to mu not i here what is the closed integral of dl right let us consider this is a wire this is a length this is the length this length is divided into number of infinitesimal parts this length is divided into number of infinitesimal parts now there is a small length dl the small length dl the integration of small length element dl is equal to what to say l now this is the dl now this is the dl this is also dl this is also dl this is also dl the, by adding all the length elements you are going to get uh, that is l mathematically we can say that uh, the integration of dl is equal to l suppose let us consider the same wire the same wire is turned into a circle right what is the radius this is the radius now the same wire is divided into number of elements same wire is divided into number of elements right what is the small length dl is the small length right no doubt no doubt dl is equal to what do you say l but this addition is along a closed path this addition is along a closed path therefore integration is a closed path now the total is equal to l but in the terms of radius that equals to what to say 2 pi r what is the circumference 2 pi r that circumference 2 pi r is equals to what to say length 
therefore now if it is a straight wire if it is a straight wire the integration of dl is equals to l if it is a right closed curve if it is a closed path in the form of circle therefore the closed integral of dl is equals to what do say 2 pi r here is also this is the current carrying conductor right this is the current carrying conductor at a particular point r what is the magnetic field induction right by considering r right as a radius draw a circle this circle is called arbitrary path this arbitrary path that is along this arbitrary path what is the line integral i am trying to calculate the line integral of b bar dot dl bar b bar dot dl bar now here in this case that is b dl cos theta is equals to mu naught i b dl cos 0 is equals to mu naught i b dl is equals to mu naught i therefore b closed integral of dl that is b closed integral of dl is equals to what to say 2 pi r 2 pi r is equals to what to say mu naught i therefore b is equals to mu naught i by 2 pi r here b is equals to what to say mu naught by 2 pi into that is i by r this is the magnetic field induction due to a current carrying conductor at a perpendicular distance r now here the magnetic field induction is directly proportional to the current therefore the magnetic field induction is inversely proportional to the perpendicular distance between the conductor to the point where the magnetic field induction is calculated now what is the conductor this is the conductor now this is the center of a circle this is the arbitrary closed path at this point to calculate the magnetic field induction what is the perpendicular distance r is the perpendicular distance therefore the magnetic field induction is directly proportional to i and magnetic field induction is inversely proportional to r where here mu naught is the permeability of the medium air or vacuum here mu naught permeability of air or vacuum is equals to that is 4 pi into 10 to the power of minus 7 that is henry per meter therefore mu naught is equals to 4 pi into 10 to the power of minus 7 henry per meter 